Hello everyone, my name is Sam and today I'm going to be showing you how to knit a pair of socks on a 24 peg loom. First you're going to start by making a slip knot like I'm showing you on screen. And once you've made it, you're going to put it on the first peg, but make sure you don't tie it too tight because it'll be hard to work with it later. On screen, I put the turning and wrapping instructions, but it's kind of confusing. But um, basically, just copy what I'm doing if you don't want to read all of that because it's really confusing. And honestly, I was confused writing it, so it's much easier to just follow what I'm doing on screen. And once you've got it down, you've got it down for good, so just follow what I'm doing and go all the way around the loom once. Once you've gone all the way around the loom once, you're going to want to go around again so that each peg has two loops on it. Once each peg has two loops, you're going to use your hook to gently pull the bottom loops over the top loops and off the peg. Then push the loops down towards the bottoms of the pegs to make room for the next round. We're going to start another round, but I'd like you to notice how you're starting each round. Notice that I wrapped around the peg next to the peg where the yarn was actually coming from. So you see the diagram on the screen to show you. Um, but you're going to do this to avoid gaps in your work. If you just start around, it could create gaps between the rounds which is not good in a sock because obviously you're trying to cover your foot. Then you're just going to continue to wrap around the whole loom until each peg has two loops on it once again. Then you're going to use your hook to once again gently pull the bottom loops over the top loops and off the peg. Push all the loops down so that you can create room for more rows. Continue this cycle until your work reaches about 4 inches long. Once you have 4 inches, choose a peg and find the first row directly beneath it that you first made. Then you're going to reach down, take that bottom loop, and put it on the peg. Continue to take all the loops next to it and put them on their pegs so that you can have two loops on every peg once again. To finish the cuff, pull all the bottom loops over the top loops and off the pegs. After that, just continue rows normally for another 4 inches. Next we're going to start the heel, so mark your 1st and 12th peg with tape because that's going to be the width of the heel. Loom towards the 12th peg you marked, but leave the 12th peg unknit for now. Now. 
Wrap around the 12th peg the opposite way you were to turn around. This is going to create the width of the heel. Just this whole 12 pegs and you're just going to work your way to the other side. Make sure you don't knit the peg where you switch directions, aka the marked peg. This will help you decrease to make the size of the heel. Make the marked peg your new turning peg and knit the opposite way. Leave the last peg with one loop alone because it will soon become the new turning peg. Make sure you don't pull the bottom loop over the top loop on the marked peg. Turn your yarn around on the peg we previously left alone and knit the opposite way. Then leave the last peg with one loop alone. Continue this decreasing back and forth pattern until there are only four pegs left with one loop. Now we will begin increasing by knitting across those four and the peg next to it with two loops. This will start the increasing process to complete the heel. Pull the two loops over the one you just added and knit the rest normally. Then knit the other way until you reach the pegs with two loops and knit one of these. Repeat this and increase until all the pegs have one loop again. Then you're going to knit normally for about 4 inches depending on foot length to create the foot. Remember that these 4 inches, or however many inches, does not include the tip of the toe. After you've completed the foot, repeat the increasing and decreasing pattern that we did for the heel to create the toe of the sock. Cut the yarn and attach a yarn needle. Pass the needle upwards through the last stitch and then do the same for the stitch to the left. Continue on to the right loop, then the left loop, then the right, and repeat this pattern until all of the loops are off the loom.
Then you can tie a knot and sew the loose end in. Don't forget there's another loose end from the beginning. You can just sew that in two or tie it off. Then you're done. Thank you for watching this video. Make sure you leave a like and subscribe. I don't often make these videos, but if you'd like to see more of them, then comment that down below and I might make a few more on my second channel. Make sure you leave a like, subscribe, and comment for more videos. Thank you!